Everyone who always enters my boat wonders, what is up with the styrofoam pad that I have attached to my old Frable net? So, first things first, you net a fish, but you've got a fiberglass boat that you don't want to scratch with metal on glass contact. Prevent scratching. Then another thing that happens, whoops, that happens, nets in the water and it floats. That's my Midwest Outdoors tip. I'm Andrew Ragus. Here we are on beautiful Braidwood Lake and we just caught this big, beautiful two and a half pound female largemouth bass. Now, I say it's spawning because of two main reasons. First, you'll check out its stomach. You can see how fat that fish is and how right where it's gonna lay its eggs is getting a little swollen and red. Now the second biggest thing is you look at this tail. So you can see it's all kind of beat up and bloody. So what the fish do is they actually fan the rock or the sand where they're gonna lay their eggs. They want it as clean as possible so that there's nothing sharp, nothing dangerous, no other uh, crustaceans um, eating their eggs. So these fish do everything they can to make sure they have a healthy harvest and a healthy spawn. And we'll let this girl go to lay some more eggs. That's how you spot a spawning bass. I'm Jim O'Neill, and that's another tip from Midwest Outdoors.